A lot of us struggle to exercise. We want to get more steps in. We want to be able to run faster, walk farther if we are concerned or, you know, focusing on, on our health and fitness. And what these athletes were telling me was something that I can teach this to people, right? It wasn't intuitive for me. It may not be intuitive for others. And while they are incredible, what they were talking about wasn't really incredible. It was just different. So I taught people like, hey, imagine that you have a spotlight shining just on a target. Maybe it's a stop sign. Maybe it's a really interesting building that you always thought was like a little bit too far to walk to. Imagine you have blinders on the sides that you're not really paying attention to the periphery and focus on that target until you hit it. And then maybe set the next target and focus on that until you hit it and then and, and so on. And when we taught that to people in the lab, first of all, it's super easy to follow. They can understand that. And when we ask them, like, what are you looking at? What's capturing your attention? We know that they can adopt that style of like, narrowed looking and that it's different than what they do naturally. That's not what we are naturally inclined to do. We do pay attention to what's on the sides. We do turn our heads. We are, you know, giving weight to what is in our periphery. But importantly, when people do that, when they adopt this narrowed style of looking, what we found is that they walked 23% faster and they said it hurt 17% less. The exercise was exactly the same. We had set up this like, you know, little, uh, this little course for them. We knew the distance was exactly the same. It's just that when we flipped a coin and decided who to teach the strategy to and who not, those that adopted this no style of attention were able to exercise more efficiently. If you want to learn how to set goals that you can actually achieve and stay motivated to achieve them, you've got to hear the full conversation I had with Dr. Emily Belchettis. Click on the link right over there.